Another good reason for visiting the Delonghi factory is the cafe restaurant over the road, Il Basilisco. Its funky decor complements an even funkier menu and head chef Diego Tomasi had a real treat in store for us. We had a bit of garlic, chopped garlic. We had fries. We had... Diego prepared one of the local risottos that features chicken gizzards soaked in riboso wine. We had to start. Now you've been in Treviso for five years. Yeah. Um, what brought you here? I was uh, working in Venice and there wasn't a restaurant as I like in this time. So I decided that that was the right place. Um, I like this land, I like uh, the products of this land, I like the wine of this land. So Diego, tell us about uh, the people in Treviso and their relationship with coffee because they seem to have a really good relationship with coffee. Yeah. Oh, you know, Treviso has a strong uh, relationship with coffee. Uh, we have an important coffee producer, mm -hmm. which is Gopion, uh, which have a beautiful shop in, uh, in town. And, uh, and we do a lot of dessert mm -hmm. with coffee. You're going to make us a dessert with coffee, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we're going to do the coffee panna cotta. <laughs> and that's ready to eat? Yeah. Okay. Well, it has to be creamy. In north of Italy, we used to leave it like, like a soup, you know, okay. creamy. And south, it's much more dry. Okay. Do you mind if I try? Yeah. Oh, that's fabulous. Yeah. Mm, that's really, really nice. Yeah, with coffee. Right. Coffee panna cotta. Uh, we heat panna cotta and we put like 50 grams of sugar, speed of water. Sugar and water, that's to caramelize. 30 grams of sugar. <laughs> this is half liter of fresh cream. And we add two espresso. What's very typical of Treviso is tiramisu and very famous, okay. which is made with, uh, with coffee. coffee. That's one of my favorite desserts. Yeah. So two shots of espresso. Uh, we keep the other two espresso on the side. It would be for the sugar. Oh, we're not going to drink that. We're going to yeah. put it in there. Okay, yeah. all right. Okay. <laughs> Don't drink. <laughs> so you stir that in. We'll bring it to boil. Okay. And then we're going to add six grams of gelatin. Give that a squeeze. Okay. Stir that in? Yep. How long do you stir for? Oh, two seconds. Okay. Ready. Oh, there's Start more coffee. Cooking. Careful oh. with camera. All right. Stop it cooking. Yes. So that's one shot of coffee in the caramelized sugar. Yeah. Then it goes in. into your little containers yeah. so that you can put it in the fridge. Yeah. And what's it doing? After cooling overnight in the fridge, the panna cotta is ready to serve. And then bain marie with hot water. Yes. So it becomes easier to turn that off. Oh, I see. Okay. Well, that looks great. And then we have our coffee caramel. Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, this is really a dessert for coffee lovers. There'll be plenty watching this show, I can assure you. So that's ready to go? Yeah. Now, I'm, I, I, have, I have to try it. Yeah. Is that alright? Oh, that's fantastic. And that is one of the best coffee desserts I've ever tried. Thank you, Diego. You are a wonder in a kitchen where you must come to Australia and come to a pub. I will. <laughs> I will. <laughs>